Hello and welcome to Adorn by Jennifer and our Tuesday tips. So every Tuesday I have been having so much fun bringing you some tips and suggestions and ideas. And this Tuesday is just the same, although I'm coming to you pre-recorded because I'm super excited. I get to travel to Kansas City, which is my hometown, and see my niece, our, my oldest niece on the side of the family graduate from high school. So Meg, we're so proud of you. I can't wait to come and celebrate with you. But in the meantime, I'm going to share this video, and in light of the fact that we just had Mother's Day, I have some a tip and a hack that it's for everybody again, but mothers might especially love this tip, and I'll explain to you why in just a moment. But first of all, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who shopped uh, Adorned by Jennifer and uh, for Mother's Day. And um, I hope that all the mamas enjoyed their gifts from Adorned by Jennifer. But ironically, now we need to start thinking about the fathers in our life. And I do think that sometimes Father's Day can be a little bit of a challenge because it's hard to know what to get your daddy. So I have some suggestions, of course, and some, um, some tips. And also keep in mind that all of these can be personalized to whatever message you would like for your dads. But I'm gonna give you three suggestions today just to have some ideas. Uh, if you wanna have the early bird get the worm, I'm happy to make them sooner than later so that you can have them ready to go for that special man in your life. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some keychains. Um, these, again, can be personalized in different shapes. Let's see, oh, this is my Mother's Day gift. Isn't that so sweet? So beautiful. Um, this is a keychain that says, Dad, I love you. It's backwards again, I know, but, and it has a little hammer. So if you have a dad that likes to do work around the house, I have some different tools, charms. I have cross charms, I have sport charms. We can add anything that um, the man in your life, the dad in your life enjoys. So this is just a simple keychain. They probably don't want it to be too frou-frou-y, but I can do the message, I can do the font, and I can even change out the charm blank size. This is another example of a similar concept. And this one says, dad's, dad, what does it say? I got it. I'm starting to need bifocals right there. It says, Dad, a son's first hero and a daughter's first love. We love you. And this is that. I hand stamp every letter and then we put a, a, I put a little cross there to go with it. So this is a sweet personalization. It's just another example of how I can change what the keychain says. So keychains, that's always a handy thing. If he has a shop or a tool room or a man cave and he needs a key, um, for something in that, this is a great way to know which key goes to that place. The next thing for Father's Day, which is wonderful, are these are a bestseller, and you may not be able to see them very well here, but they're guitar picks. If I slide it too much, they're all going to fly off. But they're actual guitar picks. I actually got commissioned to work with Keith and Kristen Getty. Uh, if you're familiar in the Christian sector, they wrote, um, they co-wrote In Christ Alone. It's a popular song and I made one just as a, a gift for Keith um, because I had little gifts for each person. They came to our home for dinner and he liked it so much that night he was in concert at our church and he, on his last song, he used the actual guitar pick that I made for him to play his last song, which was a special request that um, uh, one of my favorite songs that they've written. And so for Christmas, they hired me for the whole Christmas tour to make guitar picks with the titles of some of their songs and some Christmas celebrations. So this is the concept of what I did. Again, it's hard to read, but it's in Christ alone, my hope is found. Um, so that's kind of a fun way to do a, a special song, something like that. So these can actually be used, guitar picks or, in keeping with Father's Day, this one's kind of fun. Dad, you rock. They like to play rock music. Here it is in gold, and then I have it in copper. Then this one's really great, especially for somebody who's recently had a child in the last, well, it could be anybody, but this is fun. You know, when a child is born, a lot of times we give gifts to the mother and the baby, but we don't want to forget the men in their life. And so this is dad established and then the year that they became daddies. And we can add established 2019, and then you can do it again if they have another child in 2020 do or you know something like that we could add to it um this is some of the endearing names hubby dad and papa 
And here's a I Pick You, because it's a guitar pick. And let's see, I think several of them are repetitions. So Dad, you rock, or just you rock. You could do Papa, you rock, Grandpa, you rock. So those are just some great little ideas for custom gifts for the man in your life. And then the last thing, and then I'm gonna share with you my, um, my tip for Tuesday is the thing that I've been sharing with you for a while, but this is a bird feeder. It's, I used, this is a, um, a little tea cup and it's a little bit more masculine than some of the dainty china that I've showed you before. This is just a little bag of bird seed so you can put it in. Um, and so literally the bird seed kind of spills around the plate when you put it out. And then if you can see in the glare, this one says, love you dad which is a sweet personalization. And this is out of vintage silverware, it has um, silver plating. And I stamped this by hand and then I made this little, sweet little curvy charm, or um, whatever this thing is called, my little hangy thingy. Um, I made that. And so you can hang it from a tree branch or you can hang it from a porch, a bird feeder, a shepherd's staff hook if you have that. It's a fun personal gift that hopefully he'll feel loved every time he looks at it. So those are my little tips for Father's Day coming up. Oops, excuse me. And I also wanted to share with you my Tuesday tip. Oh, by the way, I wore a very pink dress recently to church and I had so many people ask me where I got it. I actually bought it a year ago and it. I've been having so much fun learning and shopping from this online boutique called 124. It's O-N-E, spelled out, O-N-E, and then the number 2424. And it's a great boutique. I can tell you more about it at another time, but I had posted it on my link tree because I've had so many people ask me where I've gotten certain outfits, even this is from it. Um, and it's a mother-daughter duo. Basically the name O-N-E 24 is the date January 24th, that their life changed. And the mom who co-owns it with her daughter was diagnosed with cancer. And so that was the beginning of a journey that thankfully I believe that she's doing great now. And they decided to pivot after they got all that stuff worked through and they started this boutique. And I love it because they actually put outfits together and they show how to accessorize it from top to bottom. And they ship for free, which I love and they're Christians, I love that too, and they have great style. Some of it is a little over the top, so you can just do it to your taste level, but everything that I've ordered for them, I've been incredibly pleased, and I get stopped and people ask me. Now here's the caveat. Go to my link tree and click on the 124 link, and the good news is, is that you get 15% off your first online app purchase, but, the one thing I actually called to confirm today is that you actually have to download the app before you can make the purchase to get that benefit. And you, I basically have to say you have to trust me in blind faith because you don't know what the um, boutique looks like before you download it, but it's totally worth it to download the app because they do shows, uh, online lives, and they do it at noon and at four every single day and sometimes at two o'clock. There's actually one going on as I speak as I'm recording and um, I get tickled to watch them. They're just fun, sweet ladies that come on and have great style. And I believe that their stuff is very affordable. They have a wide range. So they have um, things that are on the uh, affordable end or like the smaller prices and then they have big prices. And so wherever you feel comfortable, you can kind of find your sweet spot. But I have loved it um, and it's been a huge blessing to me and I wanted to share that with you. So, okay, so my Tuesday tip. One of the most unnerving things that I had when my kids were learning how to brush their teeth by themselves was the mess that we always seem to have with the toothpaste lids. And I tried everything. I tried screw on lids. I tried uh, the snap kind. I tried the kid level kind. We tried the squeeze tubes. We tried everything. And there was always toothpaste all over the counter. And wherever I stored the toothpaste and the toothbrush, there was toothpaste everywhere. And it would solidify and it just was nasty. And it was so frustrating to me. So I have a new product that we have been using for about a year now and I can 
absolutely say this has been wonderful because it clips on, it comes in a little case like this and there's a whole bunch of little knobs on the top. And basically what you do is you take, it doesn't matter what kind of toothpaste top you have, this one I'm just gonna unscrew. Notice this is daddy's so it's nice and clean. Um, but you just, you literally just uh, push it on. Oop, as I, <laughs> it's bouncing around the floor. I'm gonna use a new one. We don't wanna put a dirty one from the floor on here. But it, it's basically a pressure. You can see there's just a little hole. It's actually smaller than the toothpaste so you kinda of have to jimmy it on there. That time it didn't go flying and it just slides on. So you kind of have to weasel it on just a little bit. But what I like about it is that it seals, it has a little hole in it. So when you squeeze the toothpaste, just a little bit comes out, but you don't have to put a lid on it. It literally keeps it airtight and that's all you do. So when you get your toothbrush and you wipe off the toothpaste, it's clean. You don't have to worry about a lid. It's fabulous. Here's another wonderful thing. They're reusable. So at the end of your toothpaste tube, you just pull it off, rinse it out, and do another one. You just get your new toothpaste tube and put it on. So it's literally a one-time upfront purchase. And it comes with, I can't remember how many in a package, and they may change the packaging over the years. Um, but I, we have enough that everybody can have a little toothpaste lid. And I don't have the toothpaste mess anymore. It is absolutely wonderful. So I highly recommend this. Check out my link that I will be including on my Facebook page um, and Instagram page. And I, I can't do it to Linktree. That's another caveat. I've been having problems. And I just posted the um, Crock-Pot liners and it showed that nobody purchased any which is fine I, I don't mind I'm not I, I'm not wanting to pressure anybody into doing it but if you did buy any could you just private message me because I've been trying to work with Amazon to figure out how to make these links actually work and to date they're showing that everything I've done isn't working and I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. So if you just happen to message me, if you ordered them from my link directly, that would be awesome. Oh, and the other thing is I did my giveaway for the Mother's Day. And um, one thing that I noticed is that I have a lot of people who are my friends on my personal page. But then when we go to my business page, because you've watched something, it shows up in your feed, but you may not have actually hit the follow button in the top corner. I believe it was blue the last time I looked. You just click follow, and then you're listed as one of my followers, and that's the magic number that they're always looking at when you're trying to apply for different things um, on this side of things. So if you could follow and have your friends follow, I greatly appreciate it. Um, but back to my back to my suggestions. The other thing, and you might do this already, but it's a toothpaste saver, and so you slide this on the end. And I don't know about you, but when you get married, a lot of times the fight or the disagreement can be squeezing the toothpaste in the middle in the tube, or maybe you're a roller at the bottom. In the comments below, write if you're a a roller, a toothpaste tube roller upper, or if you squeeze in the middle. And you prefer that. So there's different styles. You can even see in the personalities of my family, we have different styles going on here. But basically, all you do is you, you get a little shield like this and you slide it in. It takes a little effort to pull it through, but you just pull the tail through and then it squeezes out the toothpaste. And you know what? It might fly out here in a second because I've got that uh, tube at the end. Um, so if it gets pressure, it might squirt it out. You can see it's starting to come out just ever so slightly, but this makes sure you get all the toothpaste out and it eliminates the conflict of how someone handles their toothpaste. There's another device if you prefer this. This is a little bit easier for kids to slide on, but this is also a similar device that has a, a little slide thing. You just slide it onto the tube and then you slide the tube into the base. You just have to hold it, slide it in, and it literally acts as a key. Of course, it doesn't work when I'm doing it on video, but you slide it in, you slide it in, and once you get it set, then you twist the key, and it does the same thing, but it makes your tube smaller as you go. So you've got one that leaves a tail and you can twirl it up, and you've got one that 
keeps it consolidated. And you could even leave this, you can't see that, but you can leave it on your, next to your, behind your toothbrush cup or something like that, if you'd like. So two different styles, whatever is your preference, but 1000%, I highly recommend getting these little tubey things because they are lifesavers. They are game changers. They are awesome. So those are my tips my Tuesday tips. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy. Let me know, are you a twister or a squeezer? And then if you get these, please let me, message me if you order them. Again, no pressure. I'm not trying to pressure you whatsoever. I'm just trying to figure out if my links work because I don't want to keep doing these links if they're not working and um, I'm not doing this correctly. So anyway, these are life changers. Enjoy. Have a good one.